So you were, were you 13 when you started modelling? 14, actually. Was you? I was Sorry 14. to fact-check you there, but... Yeah. Oh, no, you worry, don't you worry? Grand very old young. old age of 14. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and, and, and am I right in saying that, if you've said it, it just kind of happened? Yeah. <laughs> so how? Well, I grew up in London, um, and I just was walking down the street when I was 14 and ran into a scout for the agency that I signed with. And uh, one... I mean, it was literally just, yeah, overnight in a way. Um, wow. I started shooting that year, and then the next year was kind of, you know, vaguely successful. <laughs> well, you never Very imagined that you were going to be a, a supermodel. I mean, that, uh, that sort of came as something of a surprise as the success rolled on. And it did. You saw the world. It did you incredibly well as a career. But in your core, that's not what you wanted to do. Yeah, it was... I mean, I, I'm so grateful for it, and, um, and I really, I think took a lot out of it at the time when I was modelling a lot and travelling the world and meeting lots of interesting people. But in my heart, I always knew that it wasn't a long-term thing. Um, so I stayed in school and then uh, went... I'd been acting just kind of more for fun since I was a kid. Uh, so the first opportunity I got to do that professionally when I was 16, started doing that and put more of my time into that. So this is, so let's, this brings us very nicely onto what you're doing at the moment. And this is The Philanthropist. Uh, this is directed by Simon Callow, written by Oscar winner Christopher Hampton. Um, so, so tell us a little bit about what, what it is and, and who you play, because you're Araminta, aren't you? I play Araminta, yeah. Um, it's an it's a incredibly interesting, uh, unique play. Each of the characters is based on the seven deadly sins, and uh, oh. my character Araminta is based on lust. Oh, yes, and she is lusty, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. And that's part of the comedy. Yeah. And you haven't done comedy before, have you? Um, I did two comedy films, but I haven't done a, the kind of equivalent live comedy. Yeah. Um, I did once in the old Vic, we did the 24-hour plays, and that was comedic, but it was, mm -hmm. you know, a kind of 10-minute one-off thing. So is, is the fear here, then, that being in a live on stage that you're going to get the giggles? Because, <laughs> I, I mean, the cast is fantastic. I imagine you have lots of fun, so yeah. I, it must spill over to the stage occasionally. That was a fear I had. I mean, luckily that hasn't happened. Um, but it was certainly a fear I have, because, of course, there are moments where, you know, you're inviting the audience to laugh yes. at your expense, so your character's not supposed to be laughing at all. <laughs> got great comedy uh, co-stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah, it's uh, predominantly uh, TV, uh, very successful comedians who, who we're acting with. So, yeah, it's a group of comedians, really. And are you a giggler? Um, yeah. <laughs> I love a good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and your favourite role that you've played today, am I right thinking, was Elizabeth I? This was for this drama sort of documentary, The Channel 5. Yeah. And you loved playing her, and you said she, suppose she was actually a bit of a role model for you. I mean, if someone wrote a novel of mm. that story, you, you, would, you wouldn't believe it. You'd think it was far-fetched, but it actually happened. Mm. Um, plus, there's a lot of mystery there, you know. Was she... Was she a virgin? Was she not a virgin? You know, was she a kind of strong warrior queen? Was she actually quite a vulnerable woman? Um, she was very unique in that time, mm. and the mystery is also what I think makes her so interesting. Mm. So, yeah. so as far as your ambition is concerned, I know because you, you said you've taken a little bit of time off because you want to be a mum. I'll come to that in just a second. But what do you want to do? Which area do you want to pursue now? Yeah, um, I just love being creative, and for me, film and sometimes theatre um, allows me to be creative, but I don't try and put myself in any single box. So I also like writing, and um, I've directed a couple of short films in the last few years, and I can see myself doing more of that in future. Mm. So my focus is really in that space, so kind of the acting, filmmaking space, but how it manifests, yeah. I'm yet to see, really. And so how old uh, the, your daughter? Love, beautiful name, Wild. Gorgeous, gorgeous. How old is she? She's about to turn two. She's about to turn two. She's got wild hair. <laughs> yeah, she's got know. wild hair. <laughs> Not your red hair, though. <laughs> Not my red hair, no. No, no, no. <laughs> but, um, but so how, how are you finding it all? I mean, are you managing to find the balance all right? I mean, that's quite a, a tough thing, isn't it? Um, I mean, it's such a wonderful juggle to have, so I can't really complain. I mean, it, it definitely... You know, for somebody who's already busy and work takes up a lot of my time, fitting in, um, being trying to be a good and present mum, obviously is mm. you know is a, is a juggle and a challenge, um, but it's such a wonderful one. You know that it's mm. uh, it's it's really just made my life better. So I'm happy to. Oh, good. <laughs> and fits in all right with the theatre time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's come along sometimes. She's uh, played with the makeup in my. <laughs> in my makeup room. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, bless her. Well, The Philanthropist runs until the 22nd of July. It's at the Trafalgar Studios and it's lovely to see it you. It is. Thank, Thank you very, you very much. Very much.